Good morning, everybody. This is your boy D Mac. Let's talk. Um, white guilt. I get it. Nobody wants to walk around uh, with a heavy burden on their shoulders, especially one that they didn't create themselves. Hey, I like my Yankee with no brim. Uh, no, I was playing. Um, but I wore this uh, just for its symbology, the black and the white. You know, um, white guilt is something that causes division. It is a tool of division. I hope people know that. Um, and it was designed just for that reason. Uh, to be a tool of division because here on one side you have people saying you shouldn't feel guilty about something that you had no power over or you had no part in um, and then you have people on the other side saying you should be a sympathizer and you should feel bad and you should feel like the lowest piece of crap in the world because of what our ancestors did to black people look I'm going to say it like this as a black person you have no need to feel any guilt whatsoever. Um, we understand that y'all didn't do it. And when I say we, I'm talking about the educated black people who have some understanding and some knowledge about history. Um, we don't hold it against you personally. Um, we do hold it against a certain group of your people those elites, those uh, white nationalists, and those, um, you know, the ones who set this in motion from the beginning. We have an understanding of where it came from. And I always say that I don't hate a person. I hate the spirit that governs that person. So um, when it comes to race relations and it comes to white guilt, I have white family members that I love to death. You know what I'm saying? And um, my brother-in-law, uh, his wife is white, their family is, and they're the greatest people you will ever meet in the world, period. White, black, no matter what ethnicity they were, these people would be great no matter what because of their heart. You know, when we first met them, they took us in like, like we were their children. And they had open arms and there's never been any hint of anything racist about these people. And I know this to my core, you know what I'm saying? And I love them to death. Um, so with that being said, we don't walk around with the chip on our shoulder looking at every white person like, yeah, you did this to us. Yeah, wait till we get an opportunity to get some get back. See, this is what the white nationalists in those high places think. They think that if we get any leg up, if we even get anything close to a level playing field, that we're going to do what the Moors did to Europe and we're going to take over and we're going to implement our own stuff onto them. This is what these people think. This is why it's so hard for us as black people to get anything out of our government because it's ran by these people with this type of mentality that says if we ever give black people an opportunity, they're going to get revenge on us for what we did to them. And these are the people who are who are making sure that we don't have a, um, a black hate crime bill. These are the people who are making sure that we don't have equal opportunities in the job place. And, you know, they keep this system in play out of fear because they think that we want retaliation for what was done to us. I don't want no retaliation, man. I'm tired of fighting. I don't know. I can't speak for nobody but myself. That way won't nobody get offended. But I'm speaking for me when I say, man, I'm tired of fighting, man. I've been fighting my whole life since I was born. So what makes you think that I want to engage in any other type of confrontation when I have all of these others on my plate? We don't want no problems like that. All we want is um, equal footing. And that's not hard. That's not anything unfair to ask for, given what we've done for this country. Um, and that's all we want. We want acknowledgement of what we've done for this country. We want acknowledgement for what was done to us in this country, which will justify um, us having the leg up or the even playing field that we've been asking for ever since we got here. So, you know... Don't walk around 
as a white person, I'm addressing white people right now, don't walk around feeling like you have to do anything to prove to black people that you're down with black people. If you're truly down with black people, then your character and your actions in your life will speak for it itself. You know, you don't have to go around with the Black Lives Matter t-shirt on if you truly understand that Black Lives Matter and you contribute to the, uh, to the uh, preservation of black life. We know. We see. We understand the spirit that, that is for us and the spirit that is against us. So, you know, as far as having white guilt and feeling uneasy around black people when we talk about things like this, it's not even that type of it's not even that type of party. It's not even that type of party. Not for me. I don't hold any resentment in my heart, nor do I have any malice in my heart towards anybody because that that will eat away at you and it will chip away at you and at some point it will consume you. Hatred, anger, um, malice, all of these things will consume you as we see right now in our government. Our government has some people on both sides of the aisle, um, conservatives and liberals, who are actually absolutely being destroyed by their hatred. We have Giuliani. He just lost his law license because of his hatred that he was consumed by while working for the previous president. I don't even want to say that dude's name. So, Giuliani is just the first of many. You see so many that are going down. Matt Gates is going down because of his hatred. Um, uh, Alan Dershowitz, he's eventually going down because of his hatred. Um, there's so many to name. I'd sit here and run out of time on my thing trying to name every single person who's who's going down because of the hatred that they harbor in their hearts and they're being consumed by it. I just want to give these examples so that my friends can understand and the people that I don't know, just all people in general can understand that hatred and malice will ultimately consume you and destroy you if you continue on your path and choose to hate what you don't understand for no good reason other than you just don't understand black people and you just don't understand our culture and you choose not to so you're gonna demonize it and you're going to um discredit it then so be it that's on you that's that's your choice but we as a people just know we're not going to waste our time any longer trying to get you up to speed we're not going to waste our time any longer trying to get you to understand our point of view and our plight we have no time for that anymore we're moving forward with or without you so whether you want to know or you want to stay ignorant that's on you, but we're still moving forward. The, the movement is going, and it's progressing with or without you. So what I would say to most people is get educated. Get educated, truly educated, not, not uh, the, the United States standard education. No, dig deep. Go down those rabbit holes and really research some stuff and make some, make some determinations for yourself based off the information that you come across. Only then will you have some understanding and only then will that burden start to lift off of you of having that guilt because it's not necessary. You're not guilty. You're not guilty at all. Not in the eyes of black people. So, yeah, this is just Mac, man. I wanted to put this message out here and I hope it really inspires some change. And if not, then oh well. Can't say I didn't try. This is your boy D-Mac. I'm out.